on this video I'll be modifying these old bumper lights I found some LED projectors lying around a while back I guess it's time for me to make use of them let's see how this turns out the first thing I'm gonna do is separate the shade from the shell Now to separate the other lights. The LED projectors are joined, so I'll have to separate them so I can use one on the left and one on the right. cutting this is a bit worn out so I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna add a taller one so it will make it easier for me to reach the area which I'm cutting. Finally separated them. I also need to cut away some part of the shell so that I can fit the projectors. I thought to myself, hey, you know what, I don't want the projector behind the shade, projecting through the shade, I want the projector directly inside the shade, that way, less restriction when the light is projected. Time to assemble the lights. These LED projectors use a circuit board to power them.
I couldn't wait for them to finish so I can see how they were projecting. Wiping out any liquid dust or fingerprint, make sure it's clean. Adding back on the chrome cover piece to the project first. The lights won't project good without this. Right here, I put the shade and the shell back together. I wanted to see how the bumper lights were projecting before putting back the bumper on the car. Wow, that's pretty bright so far. Just in again, even in the day, these lights are pretty bright. As you can see, it's actually there right now. And look at that. Putting on by the bumper, I have to remove the grill, the headlights, corner lights. Air intake right there. And the license here. These AE92 vehicle cross posts, they're up on my just can't get it. Just putting these lights to get it temporary, but with 
these end results, I would say they are a keeper. I think this adjustment is alright for the lights. I don't want it pointing too much in other driver's face. Bumper light alone. Headline on. 